The people of Parterre are still buzzing about the treasure they brought up from the deep. It's a long lost waka and it's been found embedded in the awa. This taonga is over 150 years old, was pulled out largely intact and airlifted from its muddy hideout. Look at that. Well, with more is Darren, who was part of the team who worked to recover the waka. And joining him tonight is his sister MP, Debbie Ngarewa Paka. Tena korua. Darren, how'd you find this thing? Oh, yeah, I've got told to cut it down to two uh, words, but it's really hard to do <laughs> it because it was actually located by some contractors for the uh, dam who were looking into uh, eels. And uh, we confirmed that it was made of tōtara, which is obviously, you know, connected to Māori. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's where it starts from there. So I was very, very, uh, very fortunate and very grateful. Now, Debbie, lots of New Zealand will be used to seeing you uh, with your politician hat on. When Darren said he got asked to cut it down to two minutes, is that because you, you had your sister hat on and you were bossing him how to do the interview? Oh, it's yes. always Waka Papa first. Yeah, <laughs> um, always have your family back first. But I got her back because she says, um, do I have a bogey on my nose? And she actually does, and I didn't want to say yes. <laughs> so I got her back for that one. If you zoom in on that nose there, it's just on the corner, that little... Yeah. This is such a cool taonga to find, though, mm. right, Debbie? Do you know much of the, the kōrero yeah. around where it would have come from, how it might have got there, um, stuck in the hour? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, yeah, it is. It's an amazing taonga. Uh, the significance of it being 154 years to the date that it was found and lifted out of, of when our um, tūpuna were um, captured and, and taken to um, trial into Dunedin is really significant. There is uh, a lot uh, to the reclaiming of the waka, and, it is, and as Darren <laughs> said, it's the whole communities. So it's our waka papa, but it belongs to the whole community to understand today. So. Yeah, that's my 10 I seconds. I feel ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to compress everything in me. I don't know what's going on here. Wrong person, so a politician, clearly. MPs for you. <laughs> Darren, when you got the call, did you roll your eyes a bit and think, oh, it's probably, probably a dinghy that some farmer's <laughs> thrown in there? How long was it after you oh, saw no, it that you realised it was 150 years old? Oh, I, I mean... Um, it's very hard to tell when you're looking at it and it's covered with mud. So yes, when I started uh, coming down the bank, and it's you know it's right up the river from the actual party township. So, and just having to look at it and the, and the lift, you know, they they don't make them like that, and probably haven't made them like that for a long, long time. So, yeah, we all had a pretty much a confirmation that this was something special. You know, uh, even more so for us as uh, as Tonga Defender and and uh, connected to that place and the history. It's yeah, very special. Special indeed. Where, where's it off to now? What's its future? It's in, it's in Ngamotu at the moment and, and being looked after and I guess the preservation, uh, we've got kaitiaki uh, that have gone with it. Um, it got helicoptered out, which is, I mean, just time, everything got into first time promotion. In, in eh? the history, apparently, <laughs> <Yeah>. of New Zealand. <laughs> um, the whānau have been talking to our Pātia uh, Museum Pātia. and hope that that's where we take it back to be housed so that we can all appreciate um, a lost part of our history. As that walker starts to come back, I'm sure the museum will make the connection with our story of our ancestors as well. Mm. It's very cool. Share it with the wider community. Well, guys, thanks for being part of our show. I'd watch your show any day, by the way. Ngamihi Ayo, thanks so much. <laughs> no, th thank you. Don't forget to zoom in on that bow you're going to nose there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's going to make me look good. Thank you. <clears throat>